Well, welcome back, everybody, to Open. I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee. Um, Bronx restaurants, businesses, and organizations have come together with elected officials to experience the best of the Bronx in Albany. That's right, Albany. We're going to take downtown uptown. Here to share more about this event is Assemblyman Mark Joni. We welcome you to the show. And you're a handsome young man. I know you've been in the business for a while, but you're newly elected. But uh, you're a businessman, right? That's correct. Give us a little bit, a little background. Well, I don't come from the political arena. Uh, mm -hmm. I've come from a small business world, uh, basically in real estate. Um, and the reason I went into politics, come from that old school of if you don't like what you see, you either roll up your sleeves and uh, do something about it or accept it. And I chose the uh, yeah. earlier of the two. Uh, and it's and about you, making a difference. Yeah. And you come up with a number of initiatives, especially you have something coming up in, uh, in Albany. Uh, but what is Bronx Night? Tell us about uh, it. It's going to be a remarkable day. It's actually a day and night. Uh, what we've done is, during my campaigning, I promised Bronxites and the, uh, the members of my district mm -hmm. that I would be bringing Albany to the borough of the Bronx. I got it wrong. We're taking the borough of the Bronx to Albany. And Bronx Night in Albany will do exactly that. Yeah. We'll be able to present the borough and it's, it's all of the success stories and all of the positive attributes that we have as a borough mm -hmm. with our elected officials. We're going to showcase and put ourselves in a spotlight in a positive manner for once. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it hasn't, uh, we need to do more about promoting this borough. Uh, no one's going to promote us. Bronx sites are going to have to promote themselves. Yeah. And this is going to create the perfect venue for them to bring up that Bronx flavor to Albany and show them uh, what we're made of. Yeah. And as everything is marinating up there, what can people learn from this? Well, you'd be surprised at how many Bronx sites and small business owners don't even know who their elected officials are. So we've broken up Bronx day and night into two segments. Yeah. During the day, we're going to bring up small businesses and Bronx sites to meet their elected officials. We're going to have an interaction with the Small Business Committee and the Economic Development Committee, committee of both mm -hmm. the Assembly and the Senate and address some of the issues that concern our small businesses. Our mm -hmm. neighborhoods, which are rare to find in the mm -hmm. rest of the city and the state, we still c we're still made of neighborhoods, and those neighborhoods consist commercial corridors, and for a neighborhood to be vibrant, yeah. you must have a, th a viable commercial mm -hmm. corridor, well-balanced of local jobs and shopping opportunities for those that live here. So this will enable them to not only attend Albany and showcase their products mm -hmm. and services and share their success, but also create a dialogue between elected officials and Bronx sites. Yeah. Hear some of our concerns, questions and answers, and address some of the health care issues which are on the back of uh, most small businesses' minds yeah. today. Create the awareness of what's happening on both sides, what's on the minds of the business community, mm -hmm. and what's, uh, what's, what's, what are the politics of it? What, what, uh, what are the political people talking about, the elected oh, officials? You know, it's not surprisingly that elected officials uh, in Albany uh, don't really know the borough of the Bronx, aside from what they read or heard about it. So it's going to be up to us to uh, yeah. show them firsthand uh, the tremendous opportunities that we have, uh, share some of the assets from the Bronx Zoo, which is a zoo that any major city in the world would be envious of, mm -hmm. uh, Botanical Gardens, which is second to none, the yeah. New York Yankees, obviously, uh, which share the stage with no one. Uh, but we also have uh, Palm Bay Park, 2,700 acres of parkland with a beach. Wow. I mean, these are things that are, yeah. are rare to be found near a major city in the world. Mm -hmm. And yet the borough of the Bronx has this and much, much more. And how did you come up with this idea? What, what made you want to put this together? Well, uh, because I'm recently elected in uh, Albany, I'm mesmerized by uh, the whole thing. Uh, a few months ago, Brooklyn held a Brooklyn night, and I was... I was set back by the impact that mm -hmm. they would come up to Albany and share uh, the developments in the borough and present Brooklyn in a positive light. So I uh, turned around and asked my colleagues, so what are we doing Bronx now? What about the Bronx? That's right, <laughs> the good old Bronx. And uh, they said, we haven't been able to put one together. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm proud to announce uh, to all Bronxites and uh, all of my uh, colleagues in the Assembly and uh, the Senate that we're bringing up the borough of the Bronx on June 18th. And if you've ever tasted a cannoli, that'll be the day. <laughs> I'll put up our cannoli against there a Brooklyn cannoli any day of the week. <laughs> now, this will be an ongoing thing? You're going to make this an annual? It'll be an annual event, uh, yeah. and we've uh, included various foods. You know, the, the borough also is such a diverse borough, and it's remarkable how we embrace the diversity. 
the cultures, the foods, the traditions, we celebrate them, whether they be in street fairs, yeah. festivals, parades. Uh, and it's a, wonderful, it's a wonderful place. I mean, I can't speak enough about the borough. So it's time that the Bronxites not only complement each other on the attributes of this borough, but share them with others yeah. uh, and let the, uh, Albany be a great place to start. So we'll learn about the restaurants, the locations, and Certainly. what the types of foods are in the area. Now we've got, little, got Italy. little Italy. Oh, That's wow. Right. Yes. Uh, which now many refer to as the real little Italy. Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, certainly they're going to play a role in uh, Bronx Night, uh -huh. uh, bringing up their products and their services and the cheeses and the specialties in the Italian arena. Yeah. We have uh, Asian foods, we're going to have uh, Spanish foods, Latin American foods. So it's going to be a diverse Caribbean I'm salivating. Foods. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I, I encourage you uh, yeah. to fast the day before yeah. because we're going to make sure that you have a, an opportunity to, to yeah. sample uh, the borough of the Bronx. Now this is going to be held in the convention center up there? At the Egg. At the Egg. Uh, right. Yes. In Albany. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, so you have a number of things. You're newly elected. What happens after this? After, well, we've got a lot more before that. Uh, uh, June 2nd, uh, I'm happy to announce that we're holding a mayoral candidate forum at Christopher mm -hmm. Columbus High School. Uh, we're inviting all of uh, the members of my district and outside of the district to attend and get to meet their uh, mayoral candidates. And I ask some of the hard-pressed questions. Yes. You know, it's not only asking the questions, but making sure that we hold them accountable to the answers that they give us. Uh, it's time mm -hmm. for uh, the, mayor, the mayoral candidates and I'm sure many of them do recognize the importance of this borough, but uh, it's time for them to work for their votes in this borough. Yeah. And I'm going to create that format for them. There you go. All right, stepping up. And then uh, you have a number of things. Now, this major date is June the 18th? That's correct. In Albany? That's right. And you have June 2nd you just spoke about. Is there something right after that? Well, between June 2nd and June 18th, yes. we're going to continue with working hard for the district. Session will be winding down in Albany. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be able to focus uh, more on the district. Um, continue with the Joan I Cares program, uh, outreach mm -hmm. and providing the services that are needed by uh, my constituents. Right. And people can register to do this, right? Where oh, can absolutely. they go to register? I'd encourage them to contact my office, and that's located at 1126 Pelham Parkway South, or they can call 718 409 0109. And we're preparing, we just advertised in the Daily News of uh, the Bronx Week uh, mm -hmm. issue. Uh, promoting the event and um, there's going to be much more promotion coming down. Yeah, and people can follow you. I mean, you, you have the website and everything where yes. people can follow you and, 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 and find out exactly what you're doing and, and what to expect. Well, Assemblyman Mark Jonai, uh, you'll find all the information that you need there. Um, there's so much to share and so much to do and uh, my only concern is that mm -hmm. the uh, day doesn't have enough hours and the week doesn't have enough days, but we're going to make it work. There you go. Making it work in the borough, borough of the Bronx. What does Mike Nobby say? Stay Bronx strong. <laughs> well, I say promote Bronx pride. There you so go. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to us promote, to promote the pride that we certainly have. Okay. Uh, Recap. Come on up June the 18th in Albany. Downtown goes uptown. That's right. We're going to be at the Egg, which is called the Convention Center up that's there. That's correct. Right? Yeah. And uh, it's going to be from what time to what time? Well, it's going to be a luncheon, uh, and then we'll have the uh, Bronx Night with Entertainment uh, mm -hmm. time. Luncheon is set to start at 2 give people enough chance to get up there, uh, and then we'll have the, uh, the night end of it start at about 6. There you go. Did I miss anything? No, you didn't. You did an excellent job, and looking forward to having you up there. Maybe you'll cover the event for us. Yeah, oh, we're going to try to get up there. Hey, Mike, you hear that? All right. Assemblyman of District uh, 80, Mark Jonai, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Very enlightening. Thank you. And we'll hope to see you very soon. I'm looking forward to it. And just remember, it's not what you can get out of a community, but what you can put into it. This is what it's all about, making a difference. I love it.